Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the latest release of Emabuntus Debian Edition version 5.1.02. This new version is designed for both 32-bit and 64-bit system and is based on Debian 12.6 bookworm. It includes the XFCE and LXQT desktop environment which are known for being user-friendly and efficient. So let's break it down. Emabuntus is a unique Linux distribution. A distribution in this context refers to a version of Linux operating system that includes a specific set of software and configurations. Emabuntus was created with several key goals in mind. Many people and organizations donate old computers to humanitarian groups. Emabuntus makes it easier to refurbish these computers, giving them a new lease on life. Linux is an open source operating system that can be used as an alternative to Windows or Mac OS. Emabuntus aims to make Linux accessible to newcomers. By reusing all computers, Emabuntus helps reduce electronic waste and the demand for new raw materials. The name Emabuntus is inspired by the Emeos communities, a movement that helps the unprivileged by providing support and promoting sustainability. This latest version of Emabuntus was developed in response to a request from the ASI Yovo Togo Association. They wanted to donate 90 computers to the Togolese Federation of Associations of People with Disabilities, in short, FITAP. These computers will be used in VTAP's 11 training centers across Togo. To make these computers accessible, Emabuntus has added several new features designed specifically to help people with disabilities. These features include tools for the visually impaired, those with physical disabilities, and others who need special assistance. The following are some of the new accessibility tools included in Emabuntus. Orca Screen Reader this tool helps blind users by reading out text displayed on the screen. It uses Siox Pico speech synthesis to convert text to speech. Compiz Window Manager. This software includes features like full screen zoom and screen brightness adjustments, which are helpful for users with visual impairments. Mouse Twix. This tool allows users to perform mouse actions with keyboard shortcuts, which is useful for people with physical disabilities. Ebook Speaker This program reads digital books in EPUB format aloud, making them accessible to those who cannot read standard text. Daisy Player This is used to play audiobooks in Daisy format, a common format for audiobooks designed for the visual impaired. Kiwix in accessibility mode. Kiwix allows users to read Wikipedia offline even without an internet connection and now has features that make it more accessible. Ocryzer. This tool scans printed documents and converts them into digital text using OCR, short for optical character recognition, which can then be opened in LibreOffice. Elograph. A voice dictation tool that helps users input text using their voice instead of typing. Tax Typing Voice Version An educational game that helps users learn keyboard typing skills with voice guidance. Neat Braille This software generates braille books, making printed content accessible to blind users. Gnome Calculator in Accessibility Mode a calculator application that has been adapted for easier use by people with disabilities. Additionally, several other utilities have been included to make the system easier to use. This includes tools for system updates, remote control via DIY service, automatic screen capture, creating bootable USB drives with Ventoy, and configuring internet connections. To help users take full advantage of these new features, Imabuntus has produced a set of manuals. The manuals are available in both French and English and covers the following topics. Imabuntus Accessibility Functional Manual A comprehensive guide to all the new accessibility features. First step with the Orca Screen Reader. A beginner's guide to use the Orca Screen Reader. Summary of Accessibility Shortcuts A quick reference guide to keyboard shortcuts that make the system easier to use. Full version of accessibility shortcuts. 
a detailed list of all accessibility related keyboard shortcuts. These manuals can be found on the dedicated page on the Emabuntu's website. The latest release of Emabuntu includes the following updates and changes. It's based on Debian 12.6 Bookworm. Emabuntu 1.02 is built on the latest stable version of Debian, a highly respectable and secure Linux distribution. Grab PC replaces Sys Linux. The bootloader has been changed to Grab PC to support the new accessibility features. Updated manuals. The new documentation has been added to help users with accessibility features and general system use. Replaced GPT F View with Evins. Evins is a document viewer that offers better accessibility features. Replace Calculator with Nom Calculator. Nom Calculator is more accessible for users with disabilities. Tux Kitar, Dark Table, and Super Tux have been removed to keep the ISO file size under 4 gigabits, making it easier to download and install. The following software packages have been updated to their latest versions. Firefox, a secure and stable web browser. Thunderbird, an email client. Warpinator, a file sharing tool. FreeTube, an application for watching YouTube videos without ads and tracking. Ventoy, a tool for creating bootable USB drives. CT Parental, a parental control software. TurboPrint, a printer management tool. Ancestris, a genealogy software. DebGet, tool for installing third-party software and Debian-based systems. Boot Repair, a utility for repairing the bootloader. LibDVD CSS, a library for reading encrypted DVDs. All around, Emabuntu is not just another Linux distribution. It is a project with a mission. By making it easier to refurbish all computers and equipping them with powerful accessibility tools, Emabuntu helps bridge the digital divide. It supports humanitarian efforts, promotes sustainability, and provides a gateway for newcomers to discover the world of Linux. With the release of Emabuntu's Debian Edition 5.1.02, the collective has made significant strides in improving accessibility. This version is tailored to meet the needs of users with disabilities, making it an ideal choice for organizations like FITA in Togo. The inclusion of comprehensive manuals ensures that users can make the most of the new features. For those interested in learning more or getting involved, the Emabuntu website offers a wealth of information and resources. By choosing Emabuntu, users support a project that is making a positive impact on communities around the world. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.